Good morning. So I thought I would do my, a little bit of my makeup and hop on here and say hello and let you guys know that I missed the package yesterday. So I came home for lunch. There was a package on my door or the notice on my door that I had missed the package. And I don't know, don't you just get disappointed? Like you knew when the mailman was going to come because obviously if you knew when he was going to come, you would have stayed at home. But I missed the package. And I am not a makeup professional. This is how I do my makeup every single morning. Same boring makeup look. So, yeah, I just thought I'd hop on here, say good morning. And then I have a meeting to go to. And then the post office on base says that my package will be there at 10. And the meeting should be an hour. So, if I go to the meeting at 9 and come out of the meeting at 10, I will just drive over to the post office and get it. And then once I get it, I'll probably film opening it because it is pre-loved. It is a vintage item. And I'll explain to you why I picked it and why I got it as soon as I show it to you. So I know that with this camera on me, I'm not going to concentrate properly. And I told you, this is how, literally how I, I there's nothing fancy about how I apply makeup. But it looks right at the end of, when, I'm, when I'm done and I have it all put together, but... I'll get back on here a little bit later and show you guys what I got. So I'm about to head to this meeting and I thought I would just take you guys along with me because I'm early. I'm one of those people that I do not believe in being late to anything. Oh, we have a package at the door. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'll text him. I don't feel like getting back out and getting it. I'll text him and tell him to pick up the package at the door you know i notice these people don't even knock anymore they just kind of just leave it at, at your leave it at your door but i don't know he, i ordered some like clothes i don't know what he he ordered yesterday he had the package and i missed my package because he was at the gym but yeah i'm headed to work right now have a meeting for about an hour it is 8 27 in the morning and yeah this is like my ride to work i work about eight to nine minutes away because like I said I live on base but I live on I work on the other side of the base the place where I have the meeting this morning is on the side where I live if that makes sense so I'm going to get there and get parking because parking usually sucks really really bad really bad at this place especially the first Wednesday of the month when we have the meetings so I try to get there early and park and just like sit in the car I could go by Starbucks and get something but I don't usually eat in the mornings anymore because the last two months I've been doing this thing called intermittent fasting. I don't know if you guys have heard of intermittent fasting. I'm not like promoting a diet or a lifestyle. I just had to do something that worked for me and I tried keto and I didn't fail at keto, but I knew that keto could not be a like a life, a life changing thing for me. I just, I don't know, keto and I, I need rice, you guys. I need rice. I need snacks. I need sweets. And I could not get with keto. I even tried making the keto snacks and everything, and I just couldn't get with it. So I commend those people that keto works for, but it just, like, it literally did not work um, for me. So right now, yeah, you guys are shaking all over the place, but, I mean, I hope you're okay with it. Right now, um, oh, about this bag. I was going to tell you about it when I, when I got it. So I did get a vintage piece of my husband came home about three weeks ago. Wait, was it three weeks ago? Like, I don't know, three weeks ago. And I get the watch alerts on my Apple Apple Watch. So he didn't really come home. I was at work and I got an alert that I got a deposit for a certain amount of money in my account. And so I called him and I was like, did you deposit XYZ in my account? And he was like, yeah, I said, why? He said, just because. So the old me would have just automatically been scrolling and looking for something to buy, but I was responsible. I put some of the money on my credit card and then I waited for something that I really wanted and it ended up being a vintage piece and I'm hoping that it's in really good condition. I don't even know what condition to expect it to be in when I get it today. But um, but yeah, it was. it's a vintage piece and I have to pick it up at the post office. They said I can pick it up as early as 10. I have the little tag thing in my pocket. So yeah, after this meeting, I'm gonna head over to the post office. I will get it and then I'll open it for you guys. But um, today's been, it's been a short week because I have Monday off, I'm off Friday. I'm going to the Genuine concert on Thursday, on Thursday evening. It's Genuine, John B and Frankie J and 
I don't even know what Frankie J sings. So I told them about that in the office yesterday and uh, my boss started singing one of the songs, but I can't even remember the song to tell you guys what it is. So yeah, it's just a night, a night out on the town with um, me and the hubs. We're just gonna hang out or whatever and have like a date night tomorrow night. But um, yeah, let me head to this parking lot. Hopefully I got here early enough for there to be some decent parking. And then as soon as I come back from the post office, I'll check in with you guys. And I don't know, so you guys, you guys, if you saw other videos, you guys will know the logic behind why I bought this. And I don't know, I don't want you guys to think I'm just keeping you in suspense. But I, I don't, I wanna see what condition this is in, but let me see if I can fix that. Uh, yeah, I wanna see what condition that this is in, but I want you guys to see it with me or whatever. So you guys saw the beginning of this. I just left my house and I'm literally at the place that I'm having the meeting. I'm about to turn in here right now. I love having, um, I love living on base. Some people hate it, but we're not going to buy our forever home until I retire because he's retired. So yeah, I, I like living on base. I love the convenience of getting to work in a few minutes, even though my job, my actual job where I work on base is a little bit further than, than this. And oh gosh, the parking's already, uh, oh wait, I might've found a parking space. And, um, yeah, it's a little bit further, but, oh, I found two parking spaces, but it's, oh, this is from, uh, it's marked that I can't park here. This is the most frustrating, and I'm here early. I'm here like a half an hour early. This is the most frustrating thing ever, guys. You know what? I'll park across the street at the CO's building and walk across. Let me adjust this wall. And then you guys were like, oh, okay. But yeah, I'll just park across the street and walk. I don't mind walking at all. Uh, all right, I'm not even talking about anything. <laughs> Let me park and see you guys as soon as I come from the post office. Okay guys, so I am home with the merch. So I am, I just wanted to go over like why I chose this bag um, and not the Speedy Nano as well because um, one person mentioned a few people mentioned actually how my phone doesn't fit in here and I film on my phone so I wish I could show you the uh, an iPhone what is it iPhone X plus is not going to fit in here but if you're the type of person who always has your phone in your hand anyways then it's actually not going to really matter because I showed you earlier that I could easily fit probably I'm take this stuffing back out probably two clays in here um, and my key, what is it? The key, my Chanel key pouch once it shows up. And I'll show you once, if you guys wanna what's in my bag, I'll show you once I get that back from repair. And you can see better in here how there's literally no damage at all. And yeah, there's no damage on the inside at all. And then you can see that it is a 1991. So I figured this, so the days that I want to go out and I don't need a bigger bag, this is what I'll take and I'll use my bag strap to go and wear it crossbody too. I have that option. But the days that I really need to like do heavy grocery shopping or do shopping and I need a bigger bag, I will take one of my other bags. The, and I'll, matter of fact, let me grab the two Speedy so I can give you guys the comparison. I have the 35 and the 25 and I'll give you a really quick comparison on the two but like it's this to me is like if you just were to go out with say your clay some people grab their clay they go out and they don't take a bag this to me would be like no different than just running out with your clay but I know some people like bigger bags so this would never work for them but it works for me so I that's why I opted to get it I refuse to play the whole I never purchased a Pachette Matisse even though I like it but I never wanted to play that whole you can't find them and then you go on fashion file and the price is super inflated that's exactly what they're doing with the speedy nano i feel like that bag has isn't even that old it's a speedy like you literally should be able to walk into a louis vuitton and get any speedy size that you want obviously if they don't make it anymore like this one that's different and i just didn't want to play the whole game and now that i'm thinking about it i would have killed myself if i paid 1100 dollars for that bag I just would have killed myself with. So let me grab the other two and do a quick comparison so you guys can see. And then if you have any other questions, you can ask me, ask me down in the comments or um, you can, if you're, if you follow me on Instagram, you can just hit me up on this Instagram messenger and I will respond. But I love this portion that you actually have the option to send it back if you're not happy and eBay actually covers you for this. So hold on really quick. Let me grab um, the Speedy. 
So here we have, and I might make this a two-part video because I don't know how much room I have on here. I might have to split this into a, another video. Um, we'll see how much room I have on this one. But here is a Speedy 35, and here is the, na so cute. Here is the Nano, or the Speedy HL. It's so crazy. Look at the patina on both. You can tell this one's darker, and this one, I think, is a 2011, if I remember. But you can tell the difference in patina. It's adorable. And so that's the Speedy 35 in comparison to the HL. And then the Speedy 25 in comparison to the HL is like this. And I don't have a Speedy 30. I have two 25s and a 35. But that is my comparison. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you this. I'm completely happy with this little purchase. And I don't know. I don't have really too much to say about it. I'm happy with it. Do what you love and what works for you. But once again, retirement goals. So I'm so happy I didn't spend 3500 on the Nano. If I want to go bigger, I will carry one of these other two. Hope you guys are having a great hump day and I will see you guys later. Bye.